If I'm looking for a rig with a little bit of finesse for my carp fishing on the bottom, this is the actual rig I go to. And this is the carp deck rig. And I use this in depths between three to six foot deep. And it just has a 1.7 mil RW float on. And it's just 1.7 mil Maggie, sorry, actually. And it just has a carbon stem and it just follows your bait through the water, but it has a nice positive, but not too positive bristle, a 1.7 mil bristle. Instead of the two mil bristles, I just think it's a little bit more finesse and that carbon stem, like I said, just follows your rigs through the water. So here we are, we have it in my carp set of rig strips and it basically just implements a bulk and one dropper. And this rig strip shows you how to tie up the different size floats. So I'm going to tie you up one now and this is just going to be a four by 14 I'm going to tie up. But to start with, we just need to put the strip on the actual rig mate itself putting the hole on the right hand side of the rig mate itself, just over the pin, and then the groove over the left hand pin itself. So now the actual rig strips nicely in position on the rig mate to tie up the pattern. So next we're gonna be tying an 019 power line. That's my go-to carp fishing line, to be honest. Nice durable line, not gonna break, um, but it's also not too heavy too, where sometimes I use 021 from a margin fishing, I just use 019 from a deck fishing, so. We're just going to put the actual spool on the end of the rig mate itself on the little hand wheel thing. Like so, get it nice and tight. Just get yourself a little bit of line out just so you can attach the float. And like I said, I'm just going to put my float on the actual line today. Just going to snip the end so I have a nice crisp bit of line to work with when I put it through the eye and the silicone rubber. So just going to pass the, the line through the eye of the float now, like so. So the float's on the line. And just two short bits of silicon. One's just going to sit underneath the body of the float, and one's just going to sit halfway down the stem. So, two nice fine bits of silicon for this. And this is just 0.3 mil silicon. And I use this for pretty much all of my rigs, to be honest, from carp fishing and F1 fishing. It just sits really well on these floats. So, those are the two bits of silicon on. I'm just going to put one little bit longer piece on that's just going to overhang. Come here, float. It's just going to overhang the bottom of the stem. Uh, it just stops tangles and it just stops any damage on the line. Where, um, whereas if you'd left the actual stem of the float overhanging the, the silicon, you might get a little bit of damage there. So just a nice long piece for the end one. I'm just going to thread these on now to the float. Starting with that one just under the, the body. I'm going to put one halfway down the stem. Like so and then one just overhanging the stem at the bottom. So there we have it. The float's lovely, nice and tight, in position on the line. I'm just gonna move him out of the way for now. And I'm gonna tie just a loop on the end of the line just to attach to the pin at the bottom of the rig, mate. And all I like to do with this, just use a loop tire. Now this is just a small census loop tire. And I think it just makes a nice, again, durable loop, never breaks on me. And I just think they're super, super strong, so. And just get the line and just make a little loop and put it in the crook at the bottom of the loop tire. Now I just twist it twice and then the other loop it's made, I just put in the actual crook in the actual loop tire itself and then just pull it off, wet him up like so and just makes a lovely little loop. So just gonna trim the tag end like so, get rid of that little bit of line. And then there, yeah, we've got the float on the line and we've got a little loop and basically we're ready to put our shots on. So if we just loosen him off and just move it down and put this little loop over the pin at the bottom of the rig, mate, like so, put the line over this pin here and then just tighten that line down. So it's nice and tight so you can put your shots on without the line moving. And I think that's really important for putting your shots on. So move that float out of the way again. And on these strips now, it tells you exactly where to position the float, the, sorry, the floats, the shots. So today I'm gonna to use a bulk and one dropper and we're using a four by 14 float. And on these rig strips, it tells you exactly how many shots it's gonna take. So I'm gonna to need to put on six number nines in a bulk and then one number nine dropper. So just gonna mark where the actual bulk is. Just means all your rigs are really nice and consistent. They're all the same shot in there. If you ever trash a rig or tie a set of rigs, they're all the same. And I think it makes a massive difference if you can keep everything nice and simple like this. So just gonna put the actual bulk together now. Six number nines, just gonna move the rig mate up a little bit. And this is where that tight line comes in really handy. Like I said, you can just 
put those shots on so much easier and that's one shot on and what I like to do when I'm making little bulks of shot is just again line those grooves of shots up and it just means they sit really nice and straight on the line and your presentation must be um it must benefit your presentation to do this so just going to put my six on Just taking my time to really make sure they're nice and straight on the line. They're not hanging on little little angles and not just gripping the line and they're going to ping off. Just make sure they're all nice and central. All those grooves are really nice and aligned. Four. Five. Six, and then I'm just going to be putting on one number nine dropper next to that hook length loop. And that's where I always like my uh, bottom dropper, to be honest. And then depending on where I'm fishing, I end up changing the hook length. So always have my shot by this loop, like so. And now that rig is basically ready to put on the winder. We've got our bulk, we've got our dropper, we've got our float on the line. Everything's ready now to be put on a winder. So just going to take off the pin at the other end. Just going to slacken the line off a little bit perfect and now i'm just going to wrap it around the actual winder so what i like to do for my deck rigs is 13 to 15 winds and that just gives me a top kit amount of line um, and i'm not going to use it in any deeper than that so it's perfect and that's just one two three four five and i'm just making sure that float is nicely positioned in the middle of the winder nice and protected um six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen then i get to the corner just trim the line off eh. like so and then i just make a big overhand loop which attaches to my actual um elastic and then what i actually do on the actual day is just use a bigger loop tie just to make my loop because I always end up trimming these rigs down basically. So nice big overhand loop like so. And I just put him on the corner of the winder ready to put on my actual elastic when I fish. So just put him on like so. And yeah, that is the perfect little rig for commercial carp fishing. So if you want to get hold of this rig strip, visit the RigMate website store and it's www.rigmate.co.uk.